Okay, in terms of the uh, the R3 approach, the anatomy of playing playing and improving at the game of golf, the book, the book really is a is a A to Z compilation of everything involved with being associated with the game of golf, <clears throat> from beginners to experienced tournament level players. The uh, the 18 chapters of the R3 approach address virtually every aspect of being involved with the game of golf. So my suggestion would obviously be to uh, have the whole book as a, a continuing reference, something that we continuously go back and visit different aspects, different parts of the book, because they all apply to us in terms of our development as a golfer. It's a continuing reference, again, something to go back and refer to uh, time and time again. The 18 chapters presented in the book present 18 different approaches to different aspects of being involved with the game. So on one hand, where one particular tra chapter would be very appropriate or relevant to us based on a particular uh, problem that we might be having with the game, understanding that having all 18 chapters blended together in a holistic fashion is truly what's necessary in order for us to have that continued uh, uh, process of, of development. Uh, so that we move up that competitive ladder. And in terms of competition, it's both static and dynamic competition that we're involved with. Golf is a very singular game. We, uh, we are, when we're involved with the game of golf, we're both player, competitor, teacher, coach, and student all at once. Okay. So when we compete, it's really ourselves that we're competing against. That's static competition. These kinds of thoughts and ideas and concepts are outlined within the R3 approach so, taking it from chapter 1 all the way through to chapter 18, we will continue to refer to these different aspects or approaches, um, philosophies, if you will, as, as far as what we need to kind of know about and be a associated with when it comes to improving our game. Hey, it's a lot of fun. Uh, again, it's meant to, uh, to tee up the, our approach to uh, improving the game. Tee up means, uh, okay, so we have to have thought, we have to have... Uh, enthusiasm and we have to have effort so when we think about teeing up the R3 approach we're thinking about teeing it up from a holistic standpoint holistic perspective blending everything together in such a way that uh, at the end of the day we're not thinking about any one thing in particular we were just completely fluid and having fun uh, uh, playing golf one shot at a time